I'm back at the truck. Um, so I went out Monday morning after work, which is yesterday. I had five bucks on camera or come in all at once. Got them all on camera, I'm pretty sure, except for one. Um, one of them was the big one that I have on camera. And he was following a doe and he was not stopping. He wanted her and that was it. Um, I had a, it was either a nine or a ten point that came in with that group of five. And I had him sitting in front of my stand for quite a while. I had him at 30 yards. Um, I decided to hold off on shooting him. He had a little bit shorter times and thought maybe that the bucks would come back through possibly and then about 8 15 in the morning I hit my antlers for a little bit rattled and I had the second biggest deer that I had on camera was a fairly decent eight point he came right down the ravine coming straight at me at 20 yards uh, and <clears throat> I was kind of worried about the shot because it broke off the arrow uh, about six inches of arrow so there was a, about six inches of arrow with a broadhead sticking in them and I was worried that I didn't get a good shot on them I felt like it was too far forward and high and after I went back and I looked at the cameras I hit them just dead set on the shoulder but I think what I did was I went through <clears throat> and I hit some bone as well didn't let the arrow pass through uh, when I found the deer later I found him about 300 yards away it wasn't very much blood that he was dropping and I lost the blood for about 100 yards and I picked it back up just by chance and when I found him he was piled up in a trying to go up a hill and there was an exit wound so the arrow did go through so I'm thinking that when he started to run he pulled the arrow back inside the broadhead back inside of him and then broke off the rest of the arrow with with his shoulders or something somehow so when I was cleaning him I found the broadhead I haven't deboned the meat yet uh, that's what I'm gonna be doing today when I get back to town and I'll see exactly where I hit him with that broadhead because I'm pretty sure I hit bone that's what the only reason why I want to go all the way through so fairly decent uh, year so far I mean, I, I could have waited for the bigger buck that I have on camera, but I don't want a chance not getting to shoot one. Last year, I, I went two years now without shooting a deer in bow season, and I don't get a lot of time to get out, so I try to make it worth it every time I can. So, I uh, hope you guys enjoy the video, and don't forget to subscribe for more. Uh, looks like we might be doing a couple more duck hunts here coming up this next weekend. And shotgun season's coming up for deer. That'll be good as well, and I'll continue to bow hunt when I get a chance. Hope you guys enjoy, and have a good one. Smoked him a little bit. That wasn't the big guy, but that's a really nice deer. Very similar to the one I got like two years ago, shotgun season, if that's the one I think it is.
15 yards. Kind of hard to see the shot on him though. That arrow didn't get passed through. He uh, he took it through the shoulder blade for sure. I'll uh, try to look at the footage here in a minute. See if I can see anything. I'll be back with you guys after a bit. Alright guys, so this was a very, very tough deer track for me. I had very little blood, almost no blood. Um, when I reviewed the footage, I hit him square right where I should have hit him right in the lungs. And with it breaking off six inches of arrow, um, I hit bone. But I went about 100 yards without blood. I ended up picking up the blood trail again. He tried coming up this hill. And I already see a rack sitting up here. So let's go ahead and I'm going to put my bow down. And we're going to see where he got up here. I see blood up here. Where's next blood? He tried coming through here. Blood down here. Went out through here. Up on here. Man, he's an acrobat. Let's see if I can get up here. Gonna be the easiest way is back here. Alright. There he is, folks. He came in some pretty thick stuff to try to die. I haven't seen any movement out of him, so I'm pretty sure he's done. Got love rose bushes. So I'm pretty excited. This is the uh, first buck I've gotten to shoot with a bow in 
three years now, I believe. Pretty excited about that. All right. That's it, folks. I am going to head back to the truck. And I'll get it set up to get him out of here. And uh, we'll go from there.